Hi, I'm Mike Whitley, Senior Manager of System Engineering for Cable Access here at Cisco. I'm here today to talk about how to change the split frequencies of our GS7000 optical nodes. I've got two different nodes here with me today, the new 1.2 GHz 4x4 segmentable GS7000 and the new 1.2 GHz fiber deep version of GS7000. I'm going to spend most of my time on the fiber deep version, but knowing that the change of the diplexer split frequencies is virtually identical between the two different versions. I'll walk through the various steps of how to change the diplex filters, the low pass and the high pass filter, and show you how to reassemble. What you'll need for this is pretty simple. You'll need a small kit of parts uh, that comes with a split kit upgrade, and you'll need a couple of basic tools. A Phillips head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, a half inch nut driver, and a pair of needle nose pliers. The process is pretty straightforward, and there's a kit of instructions that come with it. So first off, we're going to start with the, the node. First step is to take the uh, cabling apart and stow those aside. Second step, we're going to loosen the RF module. There's a series of seven screws that you loosen. Next, there's a pry bar located on each side of the RF amplifier to loosen it. And then you simply remove the RF module from the housing. Now we're going to work on the back side on the reverse amplifier first. There's a low pass filter located on the reverse amplifier. And we're going to remove this, the cover to get to the access to the reverse filter. remove the cover and set it to the side. You notice there's two low pass filters located in the reverse amplifier. You simply remove those two devices. And set them aside. And from your new kit of parts, you'll install the new devices. There's a tab that aligns these uh, for placement inside the uh, amplifier. You'll notice there's a plastic tab to help you uh, easily locate where to put these. They simply install and snap down and you reassemble the cover. Now you'll reinsert the RF amplifier back into the housing. Make sure it seats properly. And you can retighten following the sequence for the uh, tight hold down screws. You need to follow the tightening sequence as well as the, the torque requirements to properly seat the RF module. Next, we're going to focus on the top side. We're going to remove four diplex filters, and in this case, one high pass filter. Again, with a uh, Phillips head screwdriver, you simply remove the top cover that holds down the diplex filters.
Next, using a pair of needle nose pliers, the die punctures are held in by a series of tabs. You squeeze the tabs firmly, and from that center post, the pair of needle nose pliers, you remove the diplex filter. Next, you remove the high pass filter. Use again using a pair of needle nose pliers. There's a little tab that, that makes it easy to remove. So now you've removed the initial diplex filters, and from your kit uh, parts that came with it, you will reinstall the new diplex filters to change the frequency split. Again, there's a couple of tabs, plastic tabs, that align uh, with the uh, insertion. There's two black marks on the cover that indicate which side the plastic tabs go to make easy installation. Next, you'll reinstall the covers. Again, there's two little tick marks on top of the cover that align with the two black marks to make it easy to install and align. And the final step is to install, reinstall the high pass filter. Again, there's a little alignment uh, fingers to install it into the housing properly. And then you've reinstalled the diplexers and the high pass filter. Last step is to reinstall the uh, cabling. And then the, the final step would be to go back through, do a final balance and check, verifying levels, operation, and rebalance. And that is how you change the diplex filters and the frequency splits of a GS7000.